Hello everyone, my name is Rumat, your local Tlia OTP player and today is a very grim day in our Tlia community and such because a huge nerf just hit her. I say huge not because of the Q-treated volley nerf which is insignificant but of the health decrease which puts Talia amongst the worst champions that you could pick into an assassin because of her super super low health stats right now combined with low armor compared to other mid laners. Now why do I say that? I say she's amongst the worst because her E which is supposed to be a counter against dashes doesn't do right now anything besides proking her W because any dash early on through your E will do absolutely nothing until minute 35 or 40 where you are already behind so it doesn't matter. Now also combine this with the Archangel stuff nerfs which means we no longer have any late game and with the future nerfs that will probably nullify minion the materializer and her mana pool because of the mana changes yeah, we're not going anywhere soon with this champion, but uh, this is depressive. And I'm going to argue about my points. I'm not just going to throw these ideas out here. I'm going to make some useful points about it. Like, I'm not just, yeah, she's bad because she didn't nerf her. No, I'm saying she's bad because some arguments. So let's head right into the first thing that I want to see. Yesterday, her win rate was 49. One day later it's 47.99 and it's still decreasing. Her um, People say to wait for a week until this changes, but trust me, if it decreased when the patch was launched until today, it means it's bad. It's that bad. It's, it should improve, not decrease, okay? And you can see this here, 49 towards 47. I hope my cursor is where I point it to be, right here. So, and you can also see uh, a play rate drop, which it's kind of obvious. Also, this thing that you see here, it's very, very badly interpreted because the amount of players that's in this section where the win rate is 56 or 63, it's very low. Like, you can see the player base for 1 to 50 games where the win rate is 48.96, which I don't know why it's so high, probably lower. Uh, it's 98 and the win rate and the player base is 1% for the people who actually has over 50 games with her. I'm actually in the 100, 150 games, but as I smurfed, I had a better win rate when she was okay. I'm saying she's impossible to play right now because of the extreme nerf that hit her. Basically they transformed her into a push and back champion and roam at 6. Now you cannot do fights and trades either, you're no longer a battle mage in lane against most champions. You are a battle mage just against 2 or 3 champions such as Anivia or something that you can actually fight early on. The champion that does not have huge burst capabilities and against most assassins you are actually nothing right now. Uh, I've played against Eco, I've played against Fizz, and I know I've been a bit tilted, but also the fact that I've got these surprises in mid fights. Like, I've had a huge advantage, and then I was like 30, 30 to 40 percent HP ahead, and I just got nullified to zero at level 3 4 because of the electrocute and ignite impact on you right now, and your lack of damage to burst down people at level 3. Uh, and I don't think it's normal that an assassin should 18% well, to 0 you at that level. Now, this happens because of the HP nerfs, obviously. So you have to play with exhaust, you have to play maybe with HP items or zonias, early zonias. I'm thinking seriously going for all of ages right now because we kind of need it. If I'm still going to play this champion this much and try to actually climb with her, we gotta, we gotta do something about it. Uh, and let's let's compare a bit the HPs. Like she's at 500 HP. I know she has huge wave clear, and she also has some damage potential. But 500 HP is kind of low for a mid lane champion that's supposed to, I don't know, fight champions in lane, not just push and farm, and just you know back off after 
it's boring. It's a boring playstyle. And also her E doesn't do anything to dashes right now. Why would you got their HP so much? I understand a 15 HP nerf. That's okay, but 30? Really? That not that a bit brutal? And most champions in mid lane that are assassins can do a lot of damage early on, especially with that Electro Crude Prox, so... Don't tell me about counterplay because I tried the counterplay measures and nah, it's not that as you expected. Now let's just look some towards some other champions. Now I'm seeing here LeBlanc, which has the same HP as Talia before the nerf. She has 22 armor. Uh, by the way, all champions on the lane have started with magic resist. That is 30 fixed. That I understand. I'm talking mostly about AD assassins, but also AP assassins are kind of strong right now. But I'm I'm curious about some facts. She has 500 HP and 20 armor. Now, LeBlanc has 530 and 22 armor. Uh, let's see, Cassiopeia has 537 and also 25 armor, which is weird. Uh, and also, we have to keep in mind that Talia's range is 525 on auto attacks. So, if you are good at dodging her Qs, like, it's not that impossible to do, by the way. And also, her W is extremely predictable. You don't really have much issues from her auto attacks. Any champion that is smart, like Aurelion Sol or uh, Lux, I think, they have 550 uh, range. Obviously, Lux will have 490 health because of her oppressive early game artillery style, which is her E. And I'm also curious about the fact that why our Soul has 562 health, like, and 550 range. Think about it a bit. I know you have to get close towards the enemy champion early on and such to deal damage, but an Aurelion Soul will push level 3 until level 3 will just spam his W and back off. And with using Corruption Potion, he will just do the same thing. And he will be extremely oppressive in that, and no one touches him. But I really like the champion. I'm not saying that. I'm saying this is actually balanced compared to what Tulia has become now. For a main that plays the Aurelion Soul, I really, I really like the champion. I'm seriously considering sometimes to switch back to it as I was a main before. I'm not saying he's OP. I'm saying he's behind right now. And nerfing Tulia just because in extremely high level she has decent win rate or good or people climb easy with her, I don't see why this would be an issue towards the game, because anyone who's good in silver, like if you're a diamond in silver, you will climb with any other champion. Talia just enables your ultimate, and as we've seen from Abdor Dopas, as his name is, he always plays Twisted Fate to climb easily because of the ultimate that level 6, that you can actually change the game with it. In lower elos, when you climb from gold to challenger, it, until absolutely high diamond, he will have no trouble ganking bot with Twisted Fate because uh, that ultimate actually surprises people when you know how to play with it and such, and it will just turn the game around. And such, uh, that's why I don't think nerfing to Liab just because some people know how to climb with her, I don't think that's a reason. I don't think she was extremely oppressive either because. A good Zed or a good Katarina will absolutely crush you if the Talia is not a complete god against them. The Katarina doesn't even have to be an OTP, you just have to know a bit about the basics and the dashes and how to move around her Q, and that's it. Anyone with more than one dash, it's an extreme problem to Talia. And that's quite disappointing right now. And I'm seriously expecting something that, not huge buffs, but at least a bump, 10 HP bump or something, because right now she's in an obviously bad state and it's quite depressive. Uh, other champions such as Orianna have low armor but she has her shield, she has her 530 HP again. Twisted Fate has 534 HP and no one seen nerf on her. They just they just nerfed the Leah because probably of the pro play where she kinda shines but as we've seen in some cases she wasn't that she wasn't that strong. If you pick a zero Cassidy in Talia, you're useless. You don't do anything to them. You have to play, you have to do some specific bans, a list of specific bans first. And the, the enemy will notice that you do these specific bans and they can easily counter ban Talia, which is obvious that the enemy will pick if you ban the zero and Cassidy or a zero and insert any champion here. And I don't want to complain about the buffs to any other champions. I just complain about a nerf that's not supposed to happen. Get, I get it, got her spells, but what do you have with her HP? Like, 
And she's not an artillery mage like Lax to have a low HP. You're supposed to actually position properly to hit your Qs, unlike Lax, which you can just spam it from distance with E, uh, which got buffed, by the way. Uh, and I don't want to act like, I don't know, uh, I am pissed. I don't want to act like I'm trying to instigate hate here or to be mad at someone, but I just think these nerfs have to be reconsidered a bit. Uh, and because they did this in the past. Talia was at the 50%, 52, 53 winner, not even huge as some other champions. Some, you know, the champions that have been always at the top of the win rate. There was, you just type champion.gg and you'll see. Um, she wasn't even at the high win rate and her play rate wasn't even that high. Just compare it to Janna and you'll get the point. Uh, but why do you need to overgut her HP when the abilities the Q spam is probably the main issue. You could buff a bit the E, you could nerf a bit the Q, and you'll get a healthier gameplay probably because now the E will enable her W, which means you have to actually think when to use it, which has a pretty high cooldown early on especially. And that's her main idea from the start. That was her designed point. That's where the champion started with a strong E and not an overpowered Q. Well, the Q was a bit overpowered, truthfully. The damage to minions wasn't the extra damage to minions wasn't that uh, wasn't that good because it pushed like stupidly. And right now, Talia post six post ten pushes pretty much stupidly, but that's not a reason to nerf her early HP. You have to nerf her push power. You don't nerf something else where the problem doesn't lie. Like you get the point now. And this would be this would be quite quite my rant for now. There was some other points that I wanted to touch and also why her difficulty is so low. She's literally not she's a also another funny thing that I want to talk about is that her the champion GG page for middle champions that Leah counters. Yeah look look we counter LeBlanc with a 49 win rate so we don't. We counter Akri with a 49 win rate so we don't. We counter Yasuo with 47 and Twisted Fate 40. I don't know why the we rate against the Twisted Fate 42. Who, who loses against this for the Twisted Fate against... Who loses against him so often? I don't get it. It's an uneven matchup. <laughs> but yeah, this this is useless right here. Don't, don't know. I don't know. I don't know if Tulia has over 50% win rate against any champion right now because most champions actually counter us in this point, especially with the latest nerfs. So any assassins, bam, under 50% win rate. Any battle mages that actually have kill potential post 6, bam under 50% win, because most people tend to fight also after that point, and if the skill level is even, they will just have more abilities right now that we also don't deal that much damage, and as we don't even have Archangel stuff to scale later on, they will just all scale us in every game, and unless we do epic ultimates, we kind of have a problem. We're going to have a problem. Whew. Uh, there were some other points that I wanted to touch, I don't know exactly what. Uh, I don't. I had had it on the tip of my tongue. I wanted to speak about it, and I've seen also that some AP items got buffed in the next patch. I hope that matters. But the changes to the mid lane are quite weird right now, especially to Talia. Unless she ah, the point I wanted to say that she was at 52 win rate and such. This is last year, by the way, and they nerfed her towards 47, 48 win rate again. And they didn't buff her at all after that, if I remember correctly. Maybe one small buff or something, but nothing major. And she got in the game again because of the changes to AP items and to other champions. She had no rune to actually make use of. Like, Arcane Comet didn't really work. Eri was overpowered, so we picked it by default. But it's not a rune that actually makes complete sense on us compared to other champions. Look, Serath has the Arcane Comet and Lux. They throw it from a range, it makes sense. Uh, Timo has Eri, which procs multiple times over his poison, it makes sense to pick it. But towards us, I don't know, face rush on some champions, like Aurelion Soul. It, towards us, we don't have a rune that says, yes, we want it. We just kind of pick it because it's the other things. There are no other things that are specified and are works good for our champions. We just we kind of get it there, like most assassins go for electrocute because they easily proc it and because I still feel that's a, a bit 
strong room right now. But we kind of we don't have much now, and we also have Eerie and Comet. We also have these main two things. Uh, we're supposed to go in and out with Eerie now if we play with that, or we stay back and kill with Comet. If we go for Eerie now, we have 525 range, which is lower than most mid lane champions that have 550. And we have to go for the Q from long range, we have to go in for the small auto attack to actually after proc it, and then again do this dance, or proc it with small Qs. But we will never be able to actually do an engage, because even the enemy champion is at 40-50% and we are at full, and they are even half decent assassin, we will probably die even at level 2 or 4, a Talon, a Zed, a Katarina, anyone could actually solo you now because of the low amount of HP that you have. And most assassins can actually poke you from a distance if they are smart with their positioning, like Zed has his Q and W, Talon has his daggers, Katarina has, again, daggers, apparently. <laughs> And every assassin has some form of poke besides, I don't know, one, maybe, which is Akali, but after six she's actually pretty annoying as well. This changes forces us to either stop picking the champion or to itemize and play extremely more defensively. No more minion dematerializer, go for the second wind and resolve runes because we won't be able to make up for the extra damage they deal. Go for Exhaust, must pick Rune right now, they will absolutely crash you assassins if you play with Ignite. You're no longer a fighter that can oppress these mid laners if you are better than them skill wise. They will just probably stay back and wait for a perfect opportunity. Just one mistake you have to do, they can do a lot of mistakes because your damage is not that high. You won't hit consistently 3W EQ combos uh, at level 2 or 4 to actually get the kill if they play around smart and just move a bit and also yeah exhaust or heal or barrier but heal is kind of useless right now towards that ignite you have to use it before the ignite and barrier is probably the best choice if exhaust doesn't make you think it barrier has a lower cooldown right now that's why i'm saying that and the last point would it be itemization which we should think in terms of hp HP or Zonia or Magic Resistor, Leona Banshee maybe, but that again moves us from the initial purpose of going for the items that have penetration, such as Lyandris, Voidstaff, Morello, we won't be able to reach these items as quickly as before, and again, as champions get stronger in late game, especially tanks, we're not going to deal any damage towards them again as we did some patches before and the cycle continues so the main build probably will be something i don't know ludens towards either rabidons or landris or void stuff and such like that magic penetration direction with some boots that are defensive oriented because yeah we will lose a lot of damage but we have to actually survive the lane phase which against leblanc which against uh zed eco tristana uh, no what Ignore the Tristana, Katarina, Yasuo and such. We don't do anything anymore to these champions. Not that much. I know it sounds extremely bad, but it's, it kinda is. The win rate will prove it. I'm completely sure the win rate won't go above 50%. It's impossible right now with the current state of Tilly. I've played it. And even if I'm wrong, I hope I'm wrong. I hope people will find ways. We just have to probably wait for the next patches for this to make to make more sense. This is almost a 20 minute rant. This, I, I did not expect to talk this much, but this is the current state of Talia and I had to give a heads up towards the people who actually watch this channel and trust me as a Talia player to give them valuable information. And right now I'm quite a bit pessimistic. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I don't know, I should actually show right now a full game, I would, but I think I will leave this video as an informative video right now. No gameplay, just talk. Uh, this this will be for it now, and this is a warning for all Talia players mostly, just be careful then. Don't pick her that much into weird matchups, into assassins, don't pick her at all. Uh, you won't really do much against Assassin's sadly, and 
just try to focus your attention elsewhere until things get stabilized. Yes, she will be fine. What did I click? What? Yes, she will be fine against some champions such as... I don't know. Let's think. Champions that you have bigger range than... And you can... I don't know even... Know. She's okay-ish in, in skill matchups such as Orion's Soul and Twisted Fate because you have to actually think better than the opponent. She's okay-ish in some battle mages matchups that are stupidly strong right now, but against S tier mid lane champions, mm -mm, she's no longer that good. And especially against counters and assassins, you are pretty much doomed as well if you go for that. So, uh, I'm Drumat and I really hope this informative video will make any sense and such. Uh, I will sh do some other, more videos, I want to do some wall videos, some examples, I want. I have a good game that I want to present. And I also have some other videos in mind. I will make them soon enough. And I don't know if I'll focus that much on Talia. I'll probably do some other videos because I don't really like her current state. Again, it's the yearly period that happens. The yearly nerfs that always tend to happen because something makes her strong, which are not direct buffs, and pro players abuse it and such. At the highest level, she's strong. At the lower levels, she actually requires a, a lot more skill and not a lot of people will pick it, just random people from this gap which will have a 47-46 win rate depending lower probably for some beginners as some people pick it. All in all I expect a huge drop in play rate which it happens and a huge drop in win rate which it happened and we probably keep going. I'm Jumet and I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for bringing you this depressive news, but someone has to. Please have a nice day and please focus on whatever games you play and try to get your mind out of this as I will. Uh, good luck in the next games and have a nice day, night, wherever you watch this video. Goodbye.